So next question is why multi threading is important. So we are doing interview questions on multi threading, but you have to understand what is multi threading and then why is it important. Nothing but there are multiple threads which are running within the same process to do a bunch of different tasks as part of the same process again, but they are doing it independently and trying to achieve a common purpose. That is what multi threading is about. Now why is it so prevalent? Why is it so important nowadays? The main reason why it is so important is the performance. Now the question can be why is performance coming over here? Why is that a concern? A performance is a concern because we know whenever a website loads even one second lesser, we get very impatient. We want everything to be fast. Nothing should be hanging. So we don't want any buffering also. So when in today's era, the processing, the speed, the performance, the efficiency matters so much, we have to leverage threads to make that happen so that the responsiveness of the website or whatever we are developing becomes better. That is why we try to do multi-threading. So here are a bunch of points that we have written. Firstly, multi-threading is allowing the program to perform multiple tasks together. Like in a website, you are trying to take some user input. You also want to query the database to get some data out of it. Why do you want to make the user wait? You don't want to make the user wait. If you do that, your application will appear as if it has hanged and it is trying to get some data from the background. You don't want that. You want your user input to go on, your user to keep on scrolling through the page while you come back with the additional information from the DB. So that is why we make threads. Like we try to give some additional tasks to the thread. You go in the background, you get me this data while the main thread will continue the work. So it improves the overall performance and the efficiency of the program, number one. Second is processor utilization. So when you're trying to utilize the fast uh, processor to the maximum, that can also be done, only be done when you're making use of threads. Because of there's something called context switching that we will later on discuss. Because of that, your processor is now becoming very efficient. Third point is asynchronous execution of tasks. So the program will execute other tasks while it will wait. So like the DB example, it has to go and fetch some information from the background. While you want your main thread to continue, take the user input, make the user show any other data if you want to do. You basically don't want your application to hang as if it is trying to wait for something. So asynchronous, it is like independent. One thread will go in the background and get you the data from the database. Another thread will try to take the user input and show some ads or images, whatever. So everything is happening asynchronously and they're happening independently. So the end user is not going to wait for anything. Ultimately, this allows for the creation of responsive user interfaces because the program can perform whatever long running task it has in the background and it will keep, keep the UI responsive. Earlier times when we used to check any blog, any website, we used to see it used to hang. Whenever we are trying to ask for something, press a better button, we will see it is hanging a bit. Why is it hanging? Because the main thread was only going back and getting the information. So it appeared to us that, okay, some IO is happening, some network issue is happening. We were not sure what is happening. But when the threads have come into the picture, even in e-commerce applications nowadays, the latest, so many threads are working behind the scenes that we have no idea. It appears to us that it is very fast, very performant. But why is it so fast? Because there are threads. So many things are happening in the background. Your product that you're seeing on the page, then when you're checking out, there are many threads which is happening, which is doing small different tasks in the background. And it appears to us that it is very seamless, very fast. But then the threads have a role to play over there to create a responsive user interface. That is why to understand the inner mechanism of threads is so very important. Moving on to the next question. 